Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be playing around with the newly launched Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection and I am so so freaking excited because this collection leans more towards the grungy gothic kind of a vibe. So this collection is exclusively sold at hokmakeup.com and that is where I picked up mine as well. So in this video, I have played around with the products that I picked out and I have created this makeup look so if you have not already do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload and now let's jump right into the video so the first product that I picked out for myself is this eyeshadow quad and it is called bed of roses which is so freaking beautiful it has like two shimmery shades and two matte shades so this is the swatch of the eyeshadow palette and I also like the inner patterns that you guys can see. It is beautiful. It looks like this nice lace kind of a work and I just love all these small detailing. So now let's quickly move on to the eye look. So I have a super zoomed you guys in and as always I am using my concealer to set my eyelids which is the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade 130 and I have used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 20 Light Medium to set my eyelids. So in this palette I'm gonna jump right in with this beautiful maroon shade and take a nice fluffy brush like this and I am taking this color all over my eyelids. And now just to deepen up the eye look, I'm gonna go over with this shade right here and take it on a nice fluffy blending brush like this and very lightly go over in the end just to deepen it up i'm going to take a nice clean brush like this and just without any other product just go and blend everything together just to buff everything out So now I'm going to take this pinky shimmery shade and use this concealer brush like this one, a nice thick brush and coat it generously and just go over in the inner part of my eye. Okay, this is pretty. Now, mind you, I have not wet the brush or anything. Now again with a clean brush I'm just going to go lightly over on the crease line just so that I blend everything together. So for the lower lash line I'm going to go with this shade right here on a pencil brush and just go over this shade. So I'll quickly finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So the eye look is completed and it is so freaking grungy and gothic. It is so odd for me because I've never done such a look before on my channel but I am kind of digging this. So next we are going to move on to the Jelly Balm which is in the shade Tint of Corruption and this is priced at 399 rupees. Now this is a translucent black jelly balm with pH activated ingredients that transforms to a sheer pink tint on lips. A blend of vitamin E, sunflower seed oil, virgin passion fruit seed oil, argan oil, moisturizes and nourishes the lips. So this jelly balm, I feel that it is perfect if you're going to college or work and if you do not like to wear any matte or extremely pigmented kind of a lip color this is completely perfect and the best part about this jelly balm especially for me I like the fact that even once it goes off it leaves a beautiful stain on your lips so even if you have pigmented lips like me it will look pinky even after it fades off 
So moving on, I have is the Color Icon Cream Blush in the shade Rose and Peas. Now the unique thing about this one is that it is black in color in the pan. But then uh, when you swatch it, it is a beautiful berry color. And this again, just bear in mind, it does stain and it's a cream based blush. Now this black colored blush is a blend of Muramura seed butter, shea butter, vitamin E, sunflower seed oil, virgin passion fruit, argan oil, which gives the formula its creamy texture that allows it to blend smoothly on the skin. The Rosa Damascena flower, which I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Now that extract provides moisture as well as a subtle rose scent. And last but not the least, I have also picked out a liquid lipstick which is called Kiss of Death and it is a beautiful maroon color. Now this liquid lipstick is not the drying, dry kind of a matte. I feel this is more like a demi matte and it is a very deep rosy shade. Now this contains a vitamin E and macadamia derivative to moisturize the lips. The only thing is that this is not like a matte matte finish. I feel it does not dry down completely and it is more of a demi matte finish and it does transfer. So this wraps up today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Shania on Instagram and it's Shania on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye. I live inside my own world of make-believe kids.